Yeah, it's leaking from the pump. I got tape on it. And then I go back in front of the door. Somehow it just came out of its uh, it came out of its um. Uh... Let's see. Let's pour some water down there. Let's see what happens with it. I want to see it leaking. Oh yeah, she's not even pumping, man. You can see it's not even pumping. It's right to the top there. See it? Yeah. She's well, so... I have it on off. Oh, you got it off. Yeah. See, as soon as I put it on, it, it doesn't stop. It works. It works constantly for hours and hours. Eh? Oh, I see. What's happening is the line is blocked. So I could blow that line out. I could blow that line out and try it again. It's not pumping. See it? So this line here is blocked. Isn't it pumping? No, no, it look, it's trying to, but obviously it's not It's not going down there. See it? So let me do is I'll is shut... It, is it supposed to go out? The line is blocked. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut it off, pull the line out, and blow it out with compressed air, and it oh, should okay. work. Okay, so yeah, I don't understand much. No, it'll I'm be sorry. all right. We'll, we'll figure I'm it out. I'm sorry. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna. Okay. I'm going to disconnect this line. Okay. Uh, there'll be water coming out. And then that, that camera... It, it can see right through. Yeah, that the camera the camera helps me. Wow. Plus it gives me uh you know documents my work. Okay. So I'm gonna blow that out okay. and then we'll try it again. Let me get my compressor. Okay. And we'll blow it out. Okay. All right. My bucket's there. Once I do this, we'll, we'll run it and we'll check the charge. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I didn't even think of opening the door for you. I'm sorry. That's fine. Yeah, it's easy. Sometimes we don't think, you know. You know, I don't think a lot. Are you retired? Yes. Yeah, I worked for too many years. You know, I started at 16 in a sweatshop. Oh, really? Yes. All right, let's try it now. Let's turn the power on first. She's still not pumping. It's a bad pump. It's a bad pump. She's not pumping. I have to put a new pump in there. No big deal. I gotta get another pump. It's still not pumping. And I got it blown out good, so it's not that. I'm gonna take it apart, clean it, see if we can clean it for the lady. Try it again. Why would you wear gloves? I could never figure it out. I'll never figure out why you'd wear gloves. Look at the slime. Oh man, I don't know. That's not looking so healthy, is it? Unbelievable. 
available. That's why it's not pumping. Put some bleach in there and we'll pump it. And we'll be all right. Put some bleach or some vinegar in there. He's got it. He's got it wired in hard. He doesn't have it just plugged in on the other end. That's why I'm doing this. We'll clean up that. Clean up that bucket and put it back together. Should be okay. We'll try it again. Got it all cleaned out with oh, some slime in there, man. Wow. If not, I could change. I could put a new one in there, but sometimes I think it, it was trying to run. It was just full of slime. Yeah. Well, it's because it was all full of slime on the inside, and, then I and it wasn't pumping. Yeah, and then I just have to come, you know, I just came to shut it. She's pumping now. You could see it doesn't have the bubbles. Yeah, she's pumping now. You got, yeah, apple cider, that's fine. There's a little port right here. Okay. I want you to pour vinegar down or bleach. Vinegar or bleach? One vinegar. of the two. Or right inside of there, okay. And what that's, what that's going to do is it's going to give it, it's going to clean that slime out of there. Okay. So either bleach or vinegar. Uh, every six months, dump a gallon in there. All right. Okay? Yeah. She's pumping now. No, I just cleaned out the one you had because oh, okay. you because you this plug here, he has it wired in directly. He doesn't have it in a plug, so I took it. It was easier for me to take it apart and clean it. So oh, okay, oh so you didn't have to put a new one? No, I just cleaned it. One? It don't need a new oh, one. Right. I just cleaned it and it's pumping water. So okay. every so often you have yeah. to dump either bleach or bleach. vinegar in here in there, okay. to keep the slime down. You oh, should have seen. I never, I never knew that. You should have no, seen I never all the. Said anything. Yeah, this cap here just goes in there like that. Okay, now okay? I see it. And then when when the time to put the bleach or the vinegar in there, just take it out take and it just out. dump it in there. Dump a dump a gallon in there. A gallon there. All okay, right. let it pump through, and then yeah. you could put some more, and it'll pump yeah. through. Yeah. Okay. No, I no one ever said that. That'll just keep the slime down. Okay. Well, you got an American standard with a with an A coil on top. Says the filter's clean. That was dirty. Cleaned it. Let's check it outside. Gotta take some gas out. It's overcharged. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump some from the high side into the tank. Bring the superheat up, dump a little bit. I'm gonna get that superheat up. 15 or so. Suction pressure will come down. It's gonna take out too much, a little bit, but I'm on. I had some shit on my camera there, hopefully it wasn't too bad. A little spot. I'm taking 
and some iron on the high side, dumping it into this tank. The pressure with the compressor running is higher than the pressure in this tank, so it's just pushing it in. See my sub cooling starting to come down. Take a little bit out, let it run for a while, so the peach should start coming up. Starting to come up. Don't want to take out too much. any plastic but you could paint that you could paint that the same as the wall and that won't bend and then I'll get the water away from this but I think it's good for now it's it's cooling you know I set the super heat and sub cool we'll leave let it go for now well you're gonna need to turn that this well that's because this this was leaking down into the duct work and then getting down in there all right let's let it set there's nothing wrong with the heater no, it shouldn't be. You know, let's give it some time. It should dry out. Okay. And then if it continues, we'll get into a deeper pump. Yeah. If I there ever there was a problem here with this pump. So let's let's wait. We got the pump cleaned out. It's pumping. Right. And if I, I ever... reset the charge. Okay. I took the, some Freon out, and it's running a lot better than it was. Okay. It's going to cool the house better. Right. And, and then I... that, if that continues. Then I called you up again. Then we'll get into a deeper pump. Yeah. I don't want to start, you know, Doing whipping things. and tearing it. When right. Most likely it was just this issue. Yeah. So one thing at a time. Right, right. I think you're going to be fine. I think you're going to be fine. I don't see any water running down now. Yeah. Uh, like I said, that you know, that pump was overflowing, so. Okay. I, you know, and this guy's got this thing plugged directly into the, uh, the switch. He doesn't even have a plug on it, yeah. but that's fine. It's working. Yeah. So, it's, set your thermostat at 70 now. Yeah, that's where I yeah. have it now. Okay. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 